Greetings, greetings, hello. Welcome, gosh, there's quite a few of you here already. That was fast. Of course, I'm a few minutes late. Uh, hi, welcome. Do you see my reflection? I gotta get glasses that don't reflect my eyes. Do you see my new plaque? That's, that's uh, reflecting everything and really hard to see because there's no light on it. How you doing? Hi, Linda. Hi, Stephen. Can you hear me? First of all, can you hear me? Thank you. Let me know. I'm a little slow today, just so you know. Mark's not here. Uh, this is a Q&A show, which I love doing. I love answering questions and helping y'all. Hi, Fran from Spain. Good morning, Jeff. Good to see you. Linda says, yes, we can hear me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Always like to make sure that I'm not messing up on my end with the tech stuff. But that, and I, and I do understand, it's really big. <laughs> it's like really big. It would take up the whole screen if I bring it up here. And when I bring it up here, uh, the lights, because I have lights behind me for the show, make it really hard to see. But it says, up viral and congratulations, Mitch Ellinger got 250,000 leads. And, you know, I never really thought about it, but that looks backwards. Is that backwards? Can you read that? Or is it backwards to me and okay for you guys? Hi, Natalie. Hi, Roger from London. Martin from Norwich. Probably on lockdown these days. I hear UK's in lockdown. <laughs> Quebec is where Natalie's from. Steven says my username has changed. What was, oh, was it Steven, Steve from Thailand? Is that one? San Francisco. It reads perfectly. Okay, it's just backwards to me then. That's all right. That's good. Thank you for letting me know. Uh because if I turn around and look at it, that looks right. But on the screen, it's backwards, at least for me. So today's Q&A day. Uh, things in the world have gotten me a little down, just so you know. That's why I started to say I'm a little, little slow today. Um, I have a cat that is very sick that has got me depressed. We won't go into that. Um, it's just a crazy world. You know, last Tuesday when I did the show with Mark, <laughs> uh, I little did I know that that would be the day that somebody would try to throw a coup here in the United States. It's very crazy, crazy stuff going on. Wasn't that Tuesday or was that Wednesday? Maybe it was Wednesday. Whatever. It's just, it's just been crazy around the world, hasn't it? 2021 starts off with a bang. Linda says, sending you big virtual hugs. Thank you. Um, Anders from Norway's here. Deborah Lloyd's here. Good morning, Deborah. Good afternoon, Deborah. Good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> Wednesday. It was Wednesday. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so it's question and answer day. Um, let me know, first of all, if you have any questions, because I would love to serve all of you all first. I do have some questions that have come in via the spreadsheet, or it's a spreadsheet on my end, via the, excuse me, the uh, form that you guys can fill out. So there are questions, but I can see the questions right here in the chat. Got the chat right in front of me. Uh... I got this cough going, tickle going in here. Um, Linda says, we will give you an hour of happiness. Williams from Elliott Lake, Ontario. Good to have you here, Wendell, William. Tino from Croatia. So it's like afternoon for you folks, right? Uh, <laughs> the U.S. is just one big condo, Steve says. I'm not sure I understand the condo bit. Anyway, by the way, speaking of bizarre things, uh, I went out yesterday. 
I had to take my daughter to get her car picked up because it had a problem. So we took it in to get it repaired. And on the way home, I decided to go get gas in my car. And I realized that I think that was the third time, just the third time that I have gotten gas in our car since March when the pandemic started. Third time in almost, what is that, nine months? Once, once a quarter, I'm getting gas in my car because we just don't go out anymore. It's bizarre. <sighs> of course, I think that means that there's a lot more gas being used by the delivery trucks to bring us stuff. But Natalie <laughs> uh, says, no specific questions here this week. Just here to listen to other people's questions and to learn from them. I do, by the way, have two campaigns to review. Uh, Roger says, I want to know how my lead capture looks and if I can speed up the rate of signups. Yes, I can look at your campaign. And look at that shreds like I love to do. <sighs> Linda says, yes, same here. My car batteries are struggling with lack of use. It's really, and, and, and I keep thinking to myself, I ought to go call the insurance company and say, look, I'm not driving the car. Why am I ins paying to insure it, right? <laughs> Why am I spending money on vehicles that I'm not using? What's wrong with this picture? Uh, so, Roger, if you would, if you want me to look at your campaign, grab the link and post it in the chat. I don't. I think you could send it to me privately if you want. Steve says condos are typically run by boards of bullies and wackos. <laughs> uh, I used to serve on the board of directors for the condominium association where I lived, which is right down the street. Uh, so I kind of get you there, but that also puts me in the wackos category, doesn't it? <laughs> so Roger, let me know if you want me to look at that. Um, so think of some brilliant questions. Okay. It's up to you guys to drive the show today. Okay. It's up to me to drive and you guys to listen, but, uh, do have some questions lined up. Let me go to the questions. Ah, Roger just gave us his link. Uh, super duper. Uh, let me quickly go through a couple of the questions that came in. And that way, if anybody maybe gets you fired up in terms of questions, and then we'll dive into the quickie reviews. But I will get to that in just a few minutes. Uh, so. <laughs> I don't know where this cough's coming from. Duncan's question. Hello, we are a company of cycle clothing. Does it does it do compressions on your tummy, Duncan, such that it would make me look slimmer? Uh, we want to grow our database before our new collection launch in February. At this moment, we only have 7,500 email addresses. Oh, boo-hoo. Only 7,500. How many people would love to have 7,500? <laughs> Steve, by the way, said, I've been on the board for 10 years. So good for you. Good for you. Uh, Duncan's question. I want to reach 25,000. By March 31st, we would like to know what works and what doesn't work in up viral campaigns and what should we do to be successful? Isn't that an interesting question? First, get started. Build the easiest, simplest campaign you can. Offer a prize. Start it tomorrow. That's the quick answer, Duncan. And some people I know are probably saying, what do you mean start it tomorrow? How can I get it started tomorrow? It's not that hard. Actually, next week, I want you guys to show up next week. Why I think next week is that way, I don't know. Um, 700, oh, Duncan, you're here. Hi, Duncan. Duncan says, sorry, only 750. Well, that's still okay. There's nothing wrong with 750. If they're loyal and dedicated people, I know people that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars 
with just like a thousand leads. You don't have to have these massive numbers if you build them into loyalty. Um, Linda says, the weeks are flying by and I keep wanting to get you to critique my first campaign. Here's the time, Linda. Have you got it partly created? We can look at it today. So what works and what doesn't work? Get started. There are all kinds of ways, and I, raising my hand, this one and that one, I am perfectly guilty of this, of overthinking things. I spend too much time plotting. Uh, I'll go back to my campaign that I did on Black Friday. I said Black Friday's on Friday. I almost said Thursday. <laughs> Black Friday's on Friday. And I decided to put up an offer on Tuesday. Never had done a Black Friday thing before, but I threw it out there. Now, it wasn't an up viral campaign per se. I needed to create a shop. I needed to create the campaigns. But the, compa the, the product was two up viral campaigns completely built and emails and everything. So you could take the information and copy it into your up viral. So I offered that on Black Friday. I came up with the idea on Tuesday and my mentors continue to tell me, just take action. Now I could have plotted and planned and worked on that for weeks and weeks and weeks, Linda, and never done anything, but I launched it. I sold 12 at $97 a pop. So I don't know, what is that, $1,200 ish? minus the fees and all that, $1,100 on Black Friday when I'd never sold anything on Black Friday before. Sent a couple of emails to my list, posted it on social media. I didn't even do an up viral campaign to offer up viral campaigns. Should have done that in hindsight. I could have done that, but I didn't. That's okay, right? Now, I've built a whole bunch of lead magnet kinds of campaigns for my own business in the last couple of months. They're not bringing in tons and tons of leads, but I've got them out there. It's up to me to do a better job of promoting. So that's my fault. What works and what doesn't, Duncan? What works is putting it out there. And what I talk about, and I've, I've mentioned this before, is to get started Build a simple campaign. Don't try to throw in custom actions and tons of incentives and all that kind of stuff. Maybe you only want to run it for a week. Maybe you want to do two weeks. Put it out there. Get used to the process. Understand how up viral works. It's only two pages. But if you understand how the process works, then the next one's going to be a no-brainer. And the next one, you could try a different offer, right? You don't have to have the same prizes. You don't have to be the bunky guy, which was our guest last week. Did I really end up saying what next week I was doing this? And I never even said what next week was, did I? Next week, we got a gentleman. We got, we have a, a gentleman coming to talk who was on the up viral 14 day trial 14-day trial for a dollar, and he brought in, I think, 3,200 leads in 14 days. He built his campaign, he launched it, and for seven days he ran it to see if it was going to work and brought in 3,200 leads. Look, people, this guy paid $1 for the up-viral trial. Linda, I'm picking on you. Start tomorrow. What are you waiting for? It doesn't have to be the biggest, baddest offer ever. You don't have to be the bunky guy where you got a $9,000 product. But I will tell you, if you watched last week's show, and you if you didn't watch it, you should go back and watch the replay. The, pro the, the, the joy of David's campaign is that he started his business with a contest. He didn't even know if it was a viable product and whether there was a market for it. And he ran a contest to see if people would be interested in it. 
And at the end of the contest, of course, he did his first sale. And he talked about that in there. The first campaign that he ever ran, he brought in 12,000 leads. Now, he was offering a $7,000 <coughs> excuse me, a $7,000 offer, but it doesn't have to be a big offer. My offer was a $97 offer. Happened to be high quality and very good, but that's all. <laughs> um, so the second thing while you're running your first campaign is to start reading the case studies. Go back and watch David's show from last week. Uh, he's got another campaign actually running right now. He didn't tell us that he was going to run another campaign, but I saw last night he's running another campaign. David's finally getting the idea. He used to do one a year. Now he's done for, in 2020, he did three campaigns. And he's running his, his I guess it's his winter campaign. Is usually, he usually runs it in February, but he started early. That's what it is. It's his normal February campaign. He's just starting early this time. Um, anyway, so build your first campaign. Linda says, last week was super inspiring. Great way to test the market. Absolutely. He ha Again, he happened to have a, an exciting product, uh, major expense. People really wanted to earn, win it. But pay attention to the way David did his campaigns. And there's a case study on David, right? Um, I'll send you this case study. We talked about it last week. If I can remember what the URL is, let's see. Because I have these shortcuts, but I don't always remember what the... Uh, here it is. So go read the Up Viral case study. Watch the videos. The key to David's campaign, and I'm gonna, Stephen, I'm going to look at yours in a few minutes. Stephen gave us a link, and he said, my Black Friday campaign didn't have a single sign-up. Okay. I mean, I can, I can sort of see in the URL uh, that there might be an issue there because it says cruise companion, and I don't know what the, but the word cruise is kind of concerning me. Um, anyway. We'll get to that in a few minutes. But pay attention to David. David understands partly because he's a musician. Uh, he knows he needs to get himself out there on social media and stuff. And he's also okay being in front of a camera like I do here. And so he did Facebook Lives during his contests. He does a lot of Facebook Lives. And he tells the people on his email list that have signed up, hey, by the way, I'm going to do uh, Facebook Live on Tuesday evening at 7 o'clock Eastern. And I'm going to talk about how you can get your, your bunkie, this cabin that goes in the woods. And I'm going to show you how to use it in Airbnb. So you could potentially make money on your cabin, your bunkie. David's got some fantastic ideas. David promotes the heck out of his campaigns. If you listen, shh, don't tell Wilco I said this. <laughs> if you just think that Up Viral is magic, I'm sadly going to smack you about the face and head and tell you it's not magic. It takes work. Uh, it doesn't just automatically go viral. Don't tell Wilco I said that. It can happen. There are examples of that happening, but they also take a lot of work. And David is an example of taking a lot of work. Um, so still trying to answer Duncan's question and I go really long and I lecture you guys about this stuff, but the biggest thing I want you to take away from this is to, you want to build your list to 25,000 by March 31st. You got some work to do. Run a campaign. And, and if you've watched any of the co-pilot shows, my second thing is look at the results. Look at the reports. Look at what worked. Look at who shared on what service, who looked at, or look at, track your traffic, see 
whether you post it on Facebook, whether that worked, there's something on, in a viral called custom tracking links. Look that up, learn how to use it. Find out where the campaigns are being shared. You can see some of that data inside the reports. I did an entire show on the report features. It's in the recordings. Go back and watch that. Run your next campaign based on what you see in the reports, based on the data that you collected. Don't just throw the next one out there. And I, I'll give you an example. I, I've got one of the people in my mastermind. His name is AJ, and he comes periodically, but I know he's in Ghana right now. Um, we did a walkthrough during one of his campaigns of the reports. And he said, frankly, Mitch, he said, all I ever used to look at was the total number of leads. And I showed him how to look at the direct leads and the referred leads, which I talk a lot about in the co-pilot show. And then we dove into the traffic and the tracking and who shared on what services. And we made some very interesting discoveries for his audience. And I'll give you a little tip. <laughs> The first part of the tip is spend time learning about the reports that are in UpViral. One of the reasons you got UpViral is because it's a fantastic service. And again, you guys know, I've told you this before, I was using UpViral since 2015. I dropped all of my other contest tools for UpViral because it has the best features, it has the best reports. There's one major tool that I know of that has one line report. It says, how many leads did you get? How many visits did you get? And what's the conversion rate? That's all you get. They don't sh allow you to do tracking. They don't allow you to see what the social shares are. They don't allow you to see uh, the details of direct versus referred. They don't allow you to see squat. A viral has so much more reporting than the other tools. And I've tried most of them. I haven't tried them all, and I, anyway, we won't go into that. And I'm not just trying to sell you up viral. I'm telling you what my experience is. The experience of looking at the data will change your results. So what I started to say about AJ, for example, we looked at his results, and what we found out was that his particular market, which is a group of, College age kids sent more emails than Facebook shares, Twitter shares, all the other stuff combined by three times. They were sending emails. Now, if you'd asked me beforehand, would college kids, is your target market, be most active on email versus all of those other social media things? I would have laughed in your face. But by looking at the data, we discovered something, and AJ worked the heck out of that aspect. Once he knew that was there, once he recognized that that's where his audience was sharing things, he told them to share it. He sent emails to say, by the way, send an email to your friend, and he gave them the script as to what to say in that email. He changed his perspective based on the reports. Can I make anything more emphatic than that? I'll tell you, by the way, on his Black Friday, he got 40% more sales than in 2019 because of the way we crafted his campaigns. This stuff works, but you've got to pay attention to the data and you got to learn and test and grow and look at the data and experience stuff. Deborah, thank you very much, has dug up the URL for the Copilot Reports episode from October 13th. Grab that link. If you're watching the show, copy that because this all goes away. The, the chat does not come along with the replays. If you're watching the show live, grab that link, click it, go watch that show. And yes, I... <laughs> I went long. Shocker. All right. Have I done enough preaching, Duncan? 
I've given you enough resources. Let's move on to uh, Stephen's Black Friday offer. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that. And I'm going to open it in a new window so that I can take the you guys and move you to another window so I can still see. Duncan said, okay, we'll do boss. And Linda says, yeah, me too. I mean, I will, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you my experience here. I mean, that's why you have me here is from experience. People like AJ, who just got started and started putting out campaigns, even if it was broken, even if it didn't work right the first time, you have a lot more success than if you sit there and try to make it the perfect campaign ever. There is no such thing as a perfect campaign ever. And dang it, I just put that on the wrong window. All right, so let me do that and let me share my screen so you guys can see <sighs> all right this is steven's campaign black friday how can i improve for my next one now i'm uh, because i'm just jumping in here quickly steve because it's it's the the conversation I, I, roger i'm going to get to your campaign i'm I'm just going to quickly go through this one. Uh, I'm not trying to let Steven or jump the gun here. I just think this looking at campaigns is valuable for everybody, whether it's yours or not. Um, so I like the background image. Remember that the background image is not going to be seen by people on mobile. Right? So it's, it's not something that you need to spend a lot of time on, but make it a decent background image. And I like this one because there's celebration and there's the ship in the background. Welcome aboard. Cruise Companions Club is the place to find a campaign companion. I'm gonna turn my halo on because I don't know why that gets turned off sometimes. Cruise Companions Club is the place to find a companion for your next cruise. Have a look at our site. Cruises taking up this offer will get a 90% discount on a one-year membership, which gives you the amazing price of uh, $9.60. Plus, your membership start date will be adjusted to line with the general resumption of cruising. Currently, see this is March, blah, blah, blah. So the question I always ask myself and what you should ask yourself and Stephen, you are the expert in this because Stephen said not a single sign up a you should be looking at the results during your campaign not just after but how many how many uh do you remember Stephen? how many people visited the page if it was ten thousand people and you didn't get any sign ups was it working um, are you putting the right traffic in the right location, etc.? I'm going to scroll up because new comments came in. Steven says 192. Uh, Fran says, Deborah, your link didn't work. Let me see if it works here. It says I must log into Facebook. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, never mind. It's making me can I oh it's making me do password and double whatever. Never mind. Um Fran, if if the link doesn't work, I guess the question is, are you a member of the Up Viral community? If, are you in the up viral group? Are you registered as a user in the up viral group? If you're not, then it's not going to work. It's specifically in the up viral group. All right, back to Steven. So the, ask yourself the question. Number one, am I bringing enough traffic? 192 is not enough traffic. 
Number two, well, I mean, even if you had 200 people, you should get, uh, with a 20% conversion rate, you should get 40 people, right? So something's not right. What is wrong with this campaign? The first question is, if I don't know squat about what the offer is, would I sign up? Think about this yourself. It says, welcome aboard. Now, your very first message implies to me that I'm already signed up. Why welcome aboard? I know cruise ships, they will tell you that when you get on the ship. I'm not on your ship yet. So that when I first read this, I was like, why are you telling me welcome aboard? Has It's totally confused me right off the bat. Cruise Companions Club is the place to find a companion for your next cruise. How about starting, Stephen, with the, with the pain point? Are you struggling? You want to you wanna go on a cruise, but you need a companion because you know it's going to be more fun and it's going to save you some money. And you can't figure out where to find a person that would be valuable to you and would work with you. And you know all the pain points, Stephen, about what your offer is. But you're starting off by saying it's the best place to find your next companion. I still don't. Tell me about the pain. Help me. Part of the reason of saying the pain is that you are communicating to the person who's watching the page that you understand what their struggles are. They instantly feel like oh, he gets me. Steven gets me. He knows what my problem is. I'm going to keep reading. And then you say, the Cruise Companion Club is going to solve that problem. And here's how, blah, 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 blah. But you've off jumped right into an offer for a discount. They're not even, they're not even sure yet what your off what your club is doing. And yet you're throwing an offer and putting big bold letters, 90% discount on our one-year membership. I don't even know I've won in yet. Why are you trying to sell me something I don't know that I want? That's why nobody signed up. They came here, they didn't understand your offer, and you tried to put the offer in front of them without them understanding. And I know one of the very first things that Stephen is thinking about, because everybody thinks about it, is maybe Stephen's thinking, well, I dangled this offer in front of really warm traffic, people that know, like, and trust me. Or I've bought Facebook ads for people that are looking for cruise companions. You're making the assumption that warm traffic is coming in here, and it isn't. Make the assumption that this is cold traffic, and you've got to sell them on your offer. And the way you do that is traditional marketing is you give them the pain point. You understand what the pain point is. I feel for you. I have the solution for your problem. And I realized I'm not seeing the camp the uh, comments. So um, okay. Steven said from the Facebook ad was viewed by ten thousand people. Okay, I thought the 192 was how many people that saw it, but I guess I missed that comment. I don't know why my comments uh Stephen says, no assumptions by me. Well, yes, there are. I'm slapping you about the face and head because, frankly, you're assuming that these people coming to your page get your offer, and they don't. So you're assuming they understand. Put, take somebody that is your perfect audience member. Take somebody from your email list. Take somebody that you know, like, and trust and show them this and say, would you sign up? Not somebody who knows what the companion club is. Maybe, I don't know. But dangle this in front of people and ask them questions. And Stephen says, I meant what you said just before, and now I don't remember what it was. So anyway, <laughs> we're, we're on the same page. Uh, Tony says he's telling them to go to his website, and that's where they've gone. I mean, that's possible, too. Uh, it's entirely possible that they've gone here. However, we still need to do the things I just talked about. 
because this offer is not converting. This offer is not converting. I, 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 I'm going to. <sighs> all right. I'll just do it this way. You guys can go here if you want. Um, if you go to demo safari giveawayrocket.com, I've shown this before. This is this is my demo campaign for the safari. Enter to win a six night luxury safari worth up to twelve thousand dollars. All you said was welcome aboard. They don't even understand what this means. This shows people in a safari Jeep with an elephant and picture cameras and the guide talking to them. They place themselves in here and they understand safari, luxury safari, $12,000. I mean, right off the bat, people understand that. And I'm going to skip my sales pitch. Dreaming of a safari in Africa. So what am I doing? I'm talking to their pain points. Lucky winner will make unforgettable memories with this life-changing adventure for two. What do you talk about? Cruise Companion Club is the place to find a companion for your next cruise. Go look at my website. Here's a 90% discount. Where's your appeal to their pain point, to their desire to cruise. Where is any appeal? You're just selling them a 90% discount that they don't understand yet. Viral Traffic Guy is delighted to offer you this chance to win an unforgettable safari for two, blah, 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 blah. I talk about the offer. Here's what the grand prize is. Now, this is a contest. Yours isn't. Yours is just uh, an offer with a major discount, which is okay. Exclusive six-night safari, what do you get? Ends on this date, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you register, you're going to get on my email list, just so you know. Uh, but then don't down at the bottom. My point of this is what here's about these sponsors. Viral Traffic Guy, that's me, specializes in African travel experiences. Marketing words here. Marketing words about the destination. Pictures, people in the destination makes me want to go there here's a lake with a bunch of dead trees with the guide and the two people again words good words lion drinking from a pond man i'd love to take that photo about the accommodations here's this really freaking cool place where you get to have dinner at the pond where the where the kids where the animals come drink i mean the, this is putting people in the in the cruise ship right get them lusting for this all you've done and i'm being nasty picky but all you've done is shown a couple of people and they may not even see that and you haven't you haven't gotten any lust factor here there's no desire for your offer and that's been proven by the people that haven't signed up. Now, there is some definition de description down here. But that's that's not even gotten. I mean, I would not get down there. You've you've blown me away right here at the top. Uh, Steven says not nasty or picky. I, I just like to cover my bases. OK, <laughs> I'm trying trying not to hurt anybody's feelings. Um. I was settings. That's where I want to be. I want to make my picture bigger so you can see me. Hi. All right. Let's 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 go on. Stephen, I think I've abused you enough. Um, thank you, Tony. Put the link in there. Uh, Amy asked for the link, so Tony answered. Uh, no assumptions. Go to the website. Deborah said, meet fellow cruisers and make friends before you get on board. And maybe she's talking about this top section. All right. So let me look at Roger's campaign because he sent it to me before. Can I copy the link? I can. So we're going to do Roger's campaign and then I'll look at 
What was the other one? Uh, da, 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 somebody, Fran. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Wasn't there somebody else that had a link? Am I missing something? Here's a good point. Deborah said, Stephen, your selling point is to help people enjoy a cruise as a single, but most people may be cautious about you sharing uh, about sharing a cabin with a stranger. You are off. You offer things in addition to excursions, onboard activities, up to including cabin sharing. I would also offer online virtual gatherings. Uh, there's a free app in the UK that gives you a kind of a pub meeting room. And uh, she'll send a link, blah, blah, blah. So, yes. you got to warm people up, Stephen. People are not going to sign up for this right off the bat without being warmed up. All right. So let me open Roger's campaign. Free 12-week transformation ebook. Get in the most amazing shape and stay that way too. I'm going to say the same thing to you that I just said to Stephen. What's the pain point? I, you didn't even say amazing shape until these small words down here. You say free. Okay, it's free. 12 week transformation ebook. A. Nobody wants an ebook anymore. And that's not true. Okay, I know some of you are just saying, that's not true, Mitch. I give out ebooks all the time. We don't need to say ebook. What we're trying to sell them is the transformation. Just say 12 week transformation, free. Get the most amazing shape. Why isn't this the biggest words on the page? And where's the, are you struggling with your weight? Are you struggling, you know, with your shape? Do you want to build some muscle? Do you want to transform, transform yourself into Arnold Schwarzenegger, the whatever? Unlock your ebook here. Don't care about an ebook. Justin said, quote, do you want to transform your body, unquote? Um, and there's a picture back here, but nobody can see the picture. So especially in a smartphone, it's going to look like this. Nobody can see the picture. I know there is a transparency to this, to this template, but nobody can see that. Can't, you can't get anybody to sign up with this. I, it, and again, my advice to everybody, everybody pay attention here. When you are looking at your own campaign, throw away everything you know about your campaign. Come look at it like Mitch does with absolutely virgin eyes. You know nothing about the offer. You, you, you don't assume anything about how people got here. Just assume they're on the page. Maybe they're walking by somewhere and they just see the page that somebody else had brought up. What would you do if you saw that offer? Would you sign up based on what you know? What's on the page? First thing, the biggest word here is free. Okay, I we all love free, but we don't like free until we know what the offer is. 12-week transformation ebook. Well, ebooks put me off. Nobody reads ebooks. What's the transformation? What's the pain point you're solving? What is the reason people need to put in their email? You got to remember the vast majority of people will not give up their email because they're afraid of spam. They're afraid of getting a ton of stuff in their inbox. You have to sell them that this offer is so amazing. They're willing to give up their precious email. Free 12-week transformation ebook where I don't even know what it's about just sent me away. 
Oh, there's Tino's. Um, ah, Tino, I do remember. Yes. All right. 12 week transformation ebook is not going to do it. Roger says, So, are you struggling to lose weight? If that's what the offer is about, go into more detail. Are you embarrassed to get on a Zoom call? Or are, are you happy to be on Zoom because people won't see your weight? Uh, does your face look fat on a Zoom call? Come up with some words. Are you struggling to lose weight is in the right ballpark, but make it more personal. Make it, you know, I, I kind of like Zoom calls because you guys don't see me from here down. And I see my gut that has gotten too big during the pandemic and I need to get out and exercise. There are all kinds of examples out there on the internet about marketing for weight loss. And if you're doing weight loss, by the way, this picture of a guy that is ripped is not the answer because people don't believe they can go from overweight to ripped. That's two separate projects. Number one is to get the fat off my body. Number two is to maybe uh, build up my muscles after that. Justin says there was an old direct e uh, direct mail campaign, something about 150 pound weakling on the beach. Again, see Justin or uh, Roger, even we're struggling because Justin said uh, something about 150 pound weakling because of the image. The image is of of a muscle builder. But yet, Roger, you just said, are you struggling to lose weight? So that implies. You're talking about a weight loss ebook. Okay. And this is this is the biggest reason why campaigns fail. I'm going to show you the second biggest reason cuz what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to put in my email address and I'm going to unlock your ebook. How about the transformation? Unlock an ebook. Nobody wants an ebook. Nobody is thinks an ebook is sexy. Quit saying ebook. <laughs> congratulations, you have one point. How about say congratulations, you're on your way to losing weight. They don't care about how many points they have. Justin says there's a big difference between weight loss and bodybuilding. Yes, that's my my point. <sighs> Your personal share link. Why is this here? Collect 10 points and download your free Get Lean ebook. Wait a minute. You just told me it was free. Now I have to collect 10 points? That means it's not free. I'm out. Sign me, cancel my, take my name off your list. You bait and switched me. You didn't tell me I had to earn something to get the download. Eh. Fail. Sorry, Justin. Big, big fail. Give them the damn ebook. <laughs> they just signed up. You told them they were going to get information for free. You can't bait and switch them with, oh, you got to earn points. <clears throat> Sorry. Big, 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 big no, no. Please bookmark and return to this page to view your progress. Yeah. You can use other socials like Instagram. So they don't understand even yet why they're trying to earn this. Is this the free thing you were offering there? I'm confused. <laughs> Amy says savage. Um, I'm confused. I, at this point, I don't know what you want me to do because I thought you were going to give me a free ebook. Now you're making me do this. Why do you want me to share it? It's not really clear that that's going to give me points. You need to work on your wording here. Again, these things don't go viral without convincing people that you know what the hell you're doing. Dang it. Ugh. I hate it when Chrome... I'm logged into Facebook, aren't I? C. 
see if I can do it without having a two-factor auth. Ah, dang it. Let's see if I can get it to come up. I'm going to move this off the screen. Hold on one second. Please be patient with me. All right. I think I'm logged in now. Face or Chrome is telling me I have compromised pace passwords. All right. So let's see if I click on this now, it will pop up. Now, this is the number two reason people fail in their campaigns. That guy's ripped. Claim your free lean and click get clean. Ugh. Okay, I'll start over. Claim your free, which is the biggest letters on the page. Get lean, stay lean ebook. Download ebook. 12 week full body transformation for absolutely free. Let's start in amazing shape. Uh, Justin said, that's pretty upsetting, using polite words, saying it is free and then, oh, you have to do X, Y, Z to get it for free. Yeah, that's, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself by doing that. Now, again, this image does not say lean to me. This says this guy's a bodybuilder and I don't want to be that guy. I don't think that's your target market. This guy, and again, we're we're grasping at straws. Art says that guy is way more than lean. LOL. Yeah. This is I don't think this is the message you want to be sending. And it, the transformation is absolutely correct. Correct. You want to be selling the transformation. They don't. They don't want an ebook. Uh, Justin says that guy looks obsessed. Oh, um, can we share the campaigns that are finished? Amy said. I don't know what that means. Is yours finished, Amy? We can look at it. Claim your free ebook. Again, nobody wants an ebook. Don't care about downloading. We want a transformation. Think about yourself scrolling on Facebook. The reason I use that is because that photo is me. Well, way to go, Roger. You, you killed it. Doesn't matter, Roger. It's not about you. I know that's painful, but it's not about you. It's about your target market. You need to be marketing to your target market. Maybe you want people to get ripped, okay? That's a fantastic image for somebody that wants to get six-pack abs. But what you're talking about is getting lean. Getting lean and this are two different things to me. Two different things. Now, imagine yourself scrolling on Facebook. Again, take off your uh, Roger hat that you know everything. Um, you're scrolling. Now, that image certainly stops you scrolling. If you're interested in that, I personally don't have any desire to get a six-pack tummy like that. I'm 63. I'm gone. I would love to lose some weight. That's a whole different topic. Um, Art says, if that is you, then you have a niche that will follow you to get ripped. That's a huge skill. That's a very different thing than an ebook telling you how to get lean. One of the things that I recommend you do is, <laughs> I keep selling co-pilot shows, but uh, Danny did a really good show on knowing your avatar. You got to know who your person is then you to be able to put it the right, right marketing in front of somebody. You got to thoroughly know who that person is. 
what attracts them it would what images would stop them cold as they're scrolling on facebook if it's me a 63 year old guy if i'm your avatar that's put on way too many pounds and it's all in his gut and it's hanging over his belt that image is not what i want to be you're you're putting the wrong image in front of the people that are your target market you got to thoroughly know your avatar you got to thoroughly know what gets them hot and bothered for your offer and this is true of everybody everybody on this i'm not just talking to roger here uh amy said that sounds like way too much work to get lean like that oh like, yeah i mean that that's like feels like five hours in the gym every day that's not me justin said you would be better off doing a video with that physique we can't yes but we can't do video in social sharing messages. You can do it on the landing page. Uh, but um, anyway, all right. So I think you've gotten a whole lot of feedback, Jeff, uh, Jeff <laughs> Roger, about this offer. Uh, Jeff says, you have a perfect value letter. Do you guys know what a value letter is? That's where you stair step from something free to something that's paid to something that's more expensive up, you know, stepping up to your highest offer. Get them in with whatever system you were offering as the ground level, then ascend them up the value letter with diet and exercise and then personal coaching or whatever your higher offers are. And that's that's a great idea. And you can use up viral for each one of those. Right. This is just a lead magnet. That's all this campaign is, is a lead magnet. Now, what you can do, and we've talked about this before in the earlier shows. And if you haven't seen them all, then you should spend the next week watching all 53 or whatever <laughs> previous episodes. Um. Well, I forgot what I was starting to say for a second. <laughs> uh, the the lead magnet, what I would do here would be I would give them this lean and stay lean ebook. I'd say, hey, congratulations, you're in. Uh, we have sent your ebook to, um, we have sent your get lean and stay lean transformation to your email. Go make sure you can open that first thing. Then come back here and encourage people uh, and earn something else. So let's assume you have a $49 uh, upsell, right? So uh, Jeff was talking about the value letter ladder. Say you've got a $49 digital product on this page. You say, now, if you get 10 points, I'll give you our $49 step up from lean to getting more exercise, whatever your next thing is. All you need is 10 points. Refer five people to get that $49 offer. Blah, blah, blah. So that's the joy of up viral is getting people to refer others. Talked about it till I'm blue in the face. This is a simple lead magnet with no upsell. This is a simple lead magnet where you've tricked them into doing something to get the free thing. That's not the way it works. On this page, you give them the lean ebook in their email, and then you encourage them to share with others. And when they get X number of points, you're going to give them something of even greater value. That's what up viral is for in terms of a lead magnet. Uh, let me back up. Uh, I got a Bach way up. I've missed several things. 
Uh, don't let uh, Steve said, don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Weight loss seems to be a bigger market than bodybuilding. Well, that's my point is we don't even understand what the what the transformation is uh, from this offer right now. Roger says, yes, Jeff, that's the plan with the value ladder. Uh, Jeff said, it's perfect. Focus on the avatar who's built overweight first with the opt-in. See, I said that. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Justin said, I really love the pain point. That is extremely relevant in this campaign. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. It was true in the first campaign from... Dustin or whoever it was, the crews, you got to talk about the pain point. Again, remember that most people are coming into your campaign stone cold. They don't know you. They don't know your offer. Uh, Justin said, if you're going to boil it down to something that is what you need to concentrate on, pain point is it. And I agree. Roger says, amazing feedback. You're welcome. That's why we do this show. We want you, I mean, let's let's back up, right? Let's back way the heck up. And it's, we've been here an hour. So if you need to leave, I totally understand. I'm going to keep answering questions till I'm blue in the face. And you're welcome to stick around as long as you can or catch the replay. The replay will be in the co-pilot, I'm sorry, in the unit section of the Up Viral group. It's also on YouTube and it's also inside of Up Viral. Uh, in the training section. Uh, Jeff said people like 100 points more than 10 points for some reason. And I absolutely agree with you on that. Okay. what The way I structure these things is that I give the biggest points for the referral. And you don't even mention on this page how many points I can earn by referring people. You just say I have to get to 10. Now, Facebook is one. That's one. That's one. I assume these are one. I haven't clicked those, so I don't know why they're not one. One, one. Custom action, one, one, one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I could do all of these things without referring anybody. But again, you're missing the point of up viral if you're doing that. The joy of up viral is to get people to refer others. Let's not forget that. All right. Now I need to I need to kind of move on. I think Roger, you get the idea of what's going on here. But what I do is I offer 50 points for referral. That $49 offer that I talked about, whether you have what whatever your next step up is. Get people to refer at least two people to earn that thing. Give them more points. You can give away points like candy. You don't care what the points are. Whatever it takes to get them excited. And I tend to agree that 10 points doesn't float my boat. I don't want 10,000 points. But 50 points for a referral rings my bell. <sighs> um... Right. Jeff shared a commercial. I don't have the link. I'm not going to go there. Sidebar. What browser did you use to view my site? I noticed the chat, the, uh, Steven. Steven, what browser? I am in Chrome. All of this I've shown you is in Chrome on a Mac. If that helps. Was that was that this one, Stephen? Or I, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. Uh, Deborah said 100 po or more points, for example, 100, as Jeff said, makes people feel like they have something to lose versus one point. I don't know about losing, but anyway. I'm just scrolling, looking at the comments to make sure I got everything. All right. All right. So let's look at, I think you got, well, did I look at, yeah, I did. Um, not the campaign, the site. 
maybe I did something wacky, but here's the site since you posted it. Well, yeah, the top of the image you're talking about up here? Yeah. So, <coughs> it depends upon the resolution. So whatever tool you're using to build the page is resizing that image. Because what I'm doing is Command Plus on the Mac to resize the page. And that image is shrinking. So you've got something going on there because my resolution on my 27 inch iMac is different than yours. And you need to fix that because I see what you mean. It's going away. All right. Oh, Deborah said, I don't think they want to walk away from 100 points because it feels like they have more value than one point does. And I agree with you there. I think that's a great way of thinking about it. Thank you for that. Um, all right. So uh, let's see which window I had the other two campaigns open. Uh, da, 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 da. Where'd it go? I'm going to stop sharing for just a second because I know I have two campaigns open somewhere. <laughs> and I don't want to just randomly just go screaming across the... Who knows what pages I have open? Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? Does anybody know that reference? Oh, they're over here. That's why. Because they're in that window. All right, let's 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 make sure I get to Tino's. Tino's campaign. That's this one. All right. Who knows? Here's the phrase. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? Do you know who that who, that was from a uh, crazy, crazy old radio show? We used to listen to that. I'm dating myself. How old I am. I'm sure it's still available somewhere. All right, Tino, here's your campaign, baby. Let's rip this to shreds. Number one, when I get to your page, Justin got it. Way to go. Justin said The Shadow Knows. It was, a, it was a radio show called The Shadow. And we used to listen to it at dinner back in Gainesville in the 70s. Maybe it was the late 60s on the radio. Who knows what evil lurks? Oops, not that window. You go over there. This window. Sorry. All right. Thank you, Justin. You rock. Here is Tino's campaign. Stephen tried Eminem, but that wasn't right, by the way. Sorry. So, and again, recognize that I'm on a 27-inch iMac, but it comes up at 100% like this. My opinion, my gut opinion says, I land on this page. There's a beautiful piece of art. I don't know what it is. Why are you showing me this? Oh, there's something to scroll down to. But why is this so obsessively taking up my whole screen? And what if I uh, drag it over here, then it's smaller, and I get to this, this part, but I think this is too big. I understand you want to show that off, but the most important message is this stuff, not that large image. <laughs> All right. Want this intriguing artwork hanging on your wall? Question mark. I, I wrestle with this, and I know several of the up viral templates say this. Um, I don't care for this passive voice stuff. 
how about imagine this awesome, intriguing uh, painting hanging on your wall? Exclamation point. Hi there. Okay. I, I Being informal is okay. I'm offering two artist-proof, high-quality prints of my artwork, High Hopes, for free, the two lucky winners. Now, I'm going to tell you the same thing I've told everybody else, and then this applies to everybody who is watching and listening, all 5,000 of you. Uh, there's not 5,000. This is not about you. Quit making this about you. This is about them. You said... Imagine having this amazing painting on your wall. Don't even say hanging. People know hanging. Shorten your words. Don't need to say that. You don't need this mamby-pamby want this. I love that phrase, mamby-pamby. Be aggressive. Imagine this on your wall. Win, or how about two people will win... This uh, piece of art called High Hopes, uh, there are only two artist-proof prints in the limited edition series. So you're, you're talking about the exclusivity of it. Uh, Eric says, I love this. I should say this more often. Eric says, a tip from retail land. Never ask a question to your prospect who can answer with no. You don't want it because you're absolutely right. I mean, I, maybe I don't want that piece of art. You're even putting it in my head that I might not want that piece of art. That's why I like the aggressive positive. Imagine this painting on your wall. Sub Subheading. Your friends will be stunned when they walk into your house to see this amazing print. There are only two available worldwide. These are exclusive art prints from a limited series of 30, hand-signed and numbered by me, the artist. Take these, take these words. Put these in. And you come back to this recording. I don't know if those were the perfect words, but I think you get the idea that what you want is to put them in that space. And the picture theoretically does that. There's no people in there. But I think you get the idea. Hopefully you get the idea. Enter your name and email. Don't say just. They... I know you're trying to get them to realize that it's simple, right? But be forceful, aggressive. Tell them. Enter your name and email. you got too many words going on here. Enter your name and email. That's all you got to say. Good to go to win this fine art print valued at $75. You may not want to say that. $75 may not be exciting enough. If it were $1,000, then I would say the value. $75, maybe not so much. But be care you, you have to think about that. You would even split test that. Justin said, wow, your circle of friends with this amazing, unique wall art. Deborah said, this limited edition art print, two are signed, can be yours. Learn how. Paul said there's no context for the painting. And I kind of sort of agree with that. Uh, especially when you first come in and it's this big. I, I see the painting, but there's also furniture and there's this building with a clock on the wall. And I say to myself, oh, that's CGI. It's not even a real place. I think the focus needs to be on the words down here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, obviously, there's there's more work to do there. I'm going to put in my name and my email. 
I agree with the terms and conditions. Let's see what the terms are. We haven't even talked about the terms and conditions on the other campaigns. You got some pretty fancy words here. Uh, it does say worldwide. You need to be careful about that if you're offering free shipping. That thing could cost three, four hundred dollars to ship to somebody. Be careful with that. I, I quick story. I had a client paid me to build a campaign for them. They said worldwide. It was a camera backpack valued at $150, $200. I've forgotten. The winner was in Poland. The client shipped the winner the backpack. The winner's girlfriend refused the package because she didn't know what it was. Came back to the United States. She paid, the client paid shipping both ways. The client, the winner said, oh, well, that was a mistake. I want it. So they had to ship it a third time. All three times they paid close to $200 to ship it. $150, $200 prize cost them $600 in shipping. Be careful when you do a worldwide competition. Not to mention, you need to exclude countries like China and Quebec in Canada, and et cetera, et cetera. You need to be careful about that. Marie said the picture on the wall is larger than 50 by 50. If that's inches, uh, millimeters, <laughs> metric, I don't know. But, oh, that's centimeters. Yeah, I, I would agree. Thank you, Marie. I think that's much bigger than 50 centimeters. So be careful with that as well. All right, so I'm going to move on. I want the art print. I like that button. Success, you're in. But would you like to increase? Here's that would you like to phrase. Can it? Get rid of it. Increase your chances to win this awesome art print. Share this with your friends. Each one of your friends using your invite link will be an extra 20 points. Good. This is good. Additional 20 points for each of my inst... Uh, yes, this is this is good stuff. This is explained well. Let's look at the sharing image. Paul asked, why is Quebec a problem for shipping? It's not a problem for shipping. It's a problem for contests. Quebec does not allow random draw contests. They require a uh, um, what is it? A math question to prove eligibility. So I typically ex exclude Quebec because it's difficult. All right, here's the, here's the problem. Uh, with this image. Again, imagine people are scrolling on their Facebook with their thumb or their finger or they're on their desktop and they get to this image. What does the image say to them? Nothing. Eh. Big fail. Big fail. It's not going to stop people. It looks like an ad or a piece of art or something where are the big words that say enter to win this wall art paul said it's difficult to know the legal ins and outs worldwide absolutely which is also why i typically just do a regional campaign deborah said overseas you may also have shipping issues related with customs sometimes the recipient has to pay customers duty on items of value Yes, you got to think about all those things when you're running a campaign. And do you really want people registering from Russia? Are you really trying to sell your art to China? Maybe you are. Maybe that's okay. But you got to think about these things. Uh, not to forget the good old custom domain. Thank you, Stephen. You win. 
I dislike the up viral thing showing up here, and we've talked about um, custom domains on other co-pilot shows. Get rid of this up viral thing with your own custom domain. Um, all right. Take me, I'm yours. What does that say, Tino? Somebody reads that in relation to this picture. Do they understand what you mean? No, they don't. Get the awesome art print by visiting the link below. What link? There's no link. I'm gone. I'm not here. Uh, <laughs> Please take me. This is a fail. This will this will get nobody to sign up. Nobody's going to sign up with this social sharing message. This is the second most important thing on your campaign. If you don't stop people dead in their tracks with this image and this text, they're not going to spend the time to come to your page. If they don't come to your page, you're never going to get them. Spend time on this in the image. Over here, put win, big, 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 bold letters. Win this wall art. Exclusive, only two available worldwide. Something, something, something. Come up with a whole, make it attractive. Why, are, why? I get frustrated and I know you guys are still learning this. So it's, I'm not picking on you, but. You've got to spend time, and I know Wilco doesn't talk about this enough. It drives me crazy. This has to stop people cold in their tracks. If you aren't spending hours working on this, you're doing it wrong. I shouldn't say you don't have to spend hours, but you have to get, <laughs> you have to get some appeal going. Now. It does say I have one point, but there are no points listed here, are there? There's 20 points down here. So why are you not giving me points for sharing socially? Steve, uh, Johan, I do not see the points on the share buttons. Uh, have they been set up correctly? Potentially not. Potentially not. Okay, Tino, do you have any other questions? I want to move on to the... I go on and I go on and I go on. You're getting close. I'll say that so far this is better than the other two we've looked at. Don't, don't be mad at me. In terms of wording... Uh, the words here, you're understanding what's going on, success you're in, congratulations, that kind of stuff. This is pretty good. Now, the other part of this problem is, the other opportunity here, is that you're assuming that people like this image, right? You're going to have a whole bunch of people that aren't going to like this image, and therefore that is going to limit the success of your campaign, Steven says, what? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I should put a rating scale, shouldn't I? Not meant to hurt anybody's feelings, but the whole point of all of this is to help you build a better campaign. And I started to say this earlier and I didn't finish. We want to see your business succeed. Yes, we want you to use UpViral. Yes, we think it's a great tool. I certainly do, which is why I'm here. If I didn't think it was a great tool, I would not be doing this show. It's not about the money. I can tell you that. Oh, <laughs> I want you guys to be successful. I want you to have a great campaign. I want you to run more campaigns. I want you to go shout to the world how successful you were because Up Viral has this great thing called the Copilot Show and man, I got so many great tips from that. That Mitch guy, he rocks it. You ought to go pay attention to what Mitch says. 
right? I, I love the referral aspect. That's the whole reason we're here is the referral aspect. And you did say, this is why, one of the reasons why, Stephen, I said he's doing a good job here because he's talking about inviting other people to get extra points. Nobody else has talked about that. Tino says the points are earned when a referral happens. Yes. But typically what I like to do is to give people some warm and fuzzy for doing these things. If they're not getting any points, eh. And they only can earn these points one time. So what I, I tell people, give them 20 points when they sign up. Give them, and now you're doing 20. I give them 50 points for referring others. I give them 10 points each for doing these things. You can give out points like they're candy. You don't care what the point structure is. But as Deborah said earlier, uh, Johan, are you guys working together? Johan says, if Mitch refreshes, he should have more points now. Are you simply saying that because of a referral? <laughs> oh, because, oh, let's see. Where are my points? You have one point. Are you saying you used this link? You typed it in manually? Is that what you're saying, Johan? <sighs> but I don't. Which is interesting because Tino obviously tested this, right? I'm hitting refresh. And I still only have one point. This is part of testing. Johan, did you, is that what you did? You copied this link? Johan says, so it's not set up correctly. Oh, I clicked on the Facebook link, but the Facebook link doesn't have points associated with it. Tino said... Uh, that he, points are earned when the referral happens. So he's there are no points listed here. That's why I didn't get any extra points when I did this. You are you are correct. But but in testing, we always test that, right? So if I what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Firefox and I copied my URL and my referral URL, and I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to register a different email address because this is stuff you do when you create a campaign. You test it. And the reason I'm testing is because this is not an up firewall template. This is, I mean, the URL says Tino slash sweepstakes. So I know this is some other tool. So I'm going to put in Planet Mitch and I'm going to use my giveaway rocket. Not that one. EMR, my giveaway rocket email, enter, click the button. So now if I come back over here to Chrome, I should have 21 points, right? If everything worked right. You test this stuff. You make sure that you have 21 points. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift refresh. This is the widget loading. The widget is not loading for some reason. Rut row. It's also one of the reasons why I don't like widgets. There it is. 21 points. Woohoo! So good. That worked. But you test all this stuff. You make sure all this stuff works. You test the referrals because that's one of the biggest aspects of Up Viral. Tino says, Of course I tested. Well, good for you, Tino. I'm proud of you. You you get the bonus award today. Let's see. What can I do? There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. And this one, I love this one. Dad, you're always right. Dad, you are always right. You guys heard those, right? All right. All right, we have one more campaign that was submitted that I want to get to. Take part in our campaign. The title is EOS Contest. I don't know what that is. 
Now this is translated. Take part in our competition. The opening of the store is imminent on this occasion. I invite you to participate in our competition. Did we talk about this one already? I know I did. The question, have you guys seen this one before? Justin says, I am always right. WordPress. All right. WordPress is good. I've seen this campaign before. Have you seen Steven says I've seen it before. Okay. I thought we'd seen this one before. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take my, my standing desk and I'm going to... My legs are hurting today, too. I'm struggling with all kinds of stuff. I need, I need that fitness program. All right. Thank you for that. Um, look at that. Natalie says, for running a contest in Quebec, you can refer to this article. The rules apply for prizes over $2,000. And some rules apply to prices over a thousand. Deborah says we saw this a few weeks ago. All right, good. I I recognize this one. Um. So I'm not going to spend the time going through it. The quickie, when I talk about this, by the way, is take part in our competition. That's the biggest thing on the page, and I and I complained about this before. Um, and I'm going to actually grab that link. Uh, so, in terms of running a this campaign this top part is what it's all about the owner of the store take part in our competition it's not about the person and it i mean i guess you could say it sort of says at the front you take part of our competition but where's the pain point we've talked about this earlier where's the Desire. What is the product on offer? To be one. An emotion management set and gift cards. This is this is one that has to talk about this stuff. And I remember saying that these things should be at the top of the page. The pain points. And again, this is a sales page. It needs to convince people that they want the thing. If you don't convince people they want the thing, they're not going to give up their name and their email. All right, this is a Q&A day. You guys aren't asking me any questions. Questions, questions, questions. I'm doing is I'm opening my Safari browser. So I turned off the screen sharing because I wanted to go quickly. You guys have seen me do this before. I love to do this part. And again, you're you're welcome to ask questions. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up soon, but <sighs> answer ask me ask me some questions. That almost sounded like Arnold, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> that was bad. Um, somebody asked earlier on the opt-in form, my product is Slimming Coffee. I'm a newbie. I just started a month ago. I need your expertise to get started. I don't know what is the perfect prize or offer, what points should I have, and what copy to put on my campaigns. Okay, what's the answer here? You got to know your avatar. I talked about this earlier. And you have to know what 
really excites those people. And my my suggestion is to go back and watch the Avatar show because you're asking about what copy to put in my campaigns. When you understand your avatar, you start to learn what words they use. And when you understand what words they use and what floats their boats, it's much easier to pick up an offer. Part of the question was, uh, can I do upsell, downsell for slimming coffee, chocolate coffee, Weight loss cream, weight loss pills. The answer is yes, you can upsell, downsell anything. Is it the right weight loss? Is that the right offer with slimming coffee? You can determine that. They sound like they're in the right ballpark. I don't have affiliate landing pages. Can someone help me set up affiliate pages using UpViral? UpViral is not an affiliate program as much as we want it to be. Uh, Linda says, you've done a great job so far. Thank you. You're welcome, Linda. Steven says, Debra, uh, oh, well, there's some private messaging going on. Nobody sent me a private message. What's wrong with me? Man, I'm hurt. Natalie said, do you think Trump has his supporters' emails? I'm laughing at that. For those of you who don't know, Trump's gotten shut down, Parler's gotten shut down, all kinds of things. You know, Trump's no longer on Twitter, and etc. I'm going to see if I can find it. Uh, I was going to share this. I am not currently sharing. Let me do, let me do this. Linda says, you tell us not to private message you. I'm talking about here on the chat. Uh I'm talking about here on the chat. You Private messaging me on the chat. You can private message me. You can ask me questions. You can look me up on Facebook. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just talking about private messages here in this chat when I say that. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse you. You can come by my programs. You can get in my master. You, all kinds of stuff. Shh, don't tell Wilco I said that. Uh, so what I wanted to do, I was, I was in, in Facebook. All right. So let me do this. Uh, I'm going to do it behind your backs. I know I'm not sharing my screen yet. Uh, I, I saw this now. I'm not, I, we're not getting into politics here. Uh, we're not going to talk about, I'll do this. I'll move the comments off the but I wanted to share this image because I thought it was hilarious. And and I want to use it. So uh, share my screen. Um not that one, but this is this was shared by a friend of mine on Facebook. Hey, Donald Trump, you don't own your Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook followers. This is why you need an email list. And I just love that. Absolutely love it. Because it's so freaking absolutely true, right? Uh, it's phenomenal. This is This is so targeted right on. Now, of course, he has an email list. He sends out all kinds of crap. Uh, but Tony said it's too late for him as he's got no social share pages. Uh, so Justin said, who cares? And I, I think it's, I, I care not because it's Donald Trump and we won't get into politics. You don't own this. This is critical for our businesses right this is absolutely critical pete says gotta go thanks who shared the campaigns you're welcome pete um but this is absolutely critical for your business your number one asset is your email list and if you are not building your email list and <laughs> amy said i didn't 
Amy said, actually, his email provider shut him out, too. I didn't know that. That's that. I'm sorry. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Um, and that's also, by the way, Amy, it's a great point that you need to save your email list, download it from your email provider because they can shut you down. You can always take that list over to somebody else. You can use a different tool, etc. But you own those people because they opted in. Um, thank you very much, Linda, by the way. Justin, thank you for your kind words. Pete, I already mentioned that. Uh, Justin says, our custom links. That's probably into something I said. Justin says, I've always got my leads on my external drive. Good for you. Proud of you. Linda said, Kajabi has a great affiliate scheme and they have a 45-day free trial. Really? 45 days? See, that makes more sense to me. Uh, can't recommend Kajabi enough. Kajabi and UpViral are awesome tools. By the way, long story short, if you haven't heard about a tool called Searchy, come come talk to me. Searchy is, I think, even better than Kajabi, but it doesn't do emails. But that's a whole other topic. Um, all right. So what I started to do, because I always love doing this part, since today's a review day. All right. Come on, screen. Just go full screen. This group on Facebook called Only Big Sweepstakes. I love to come in here because this is a curated list. Uh, Janine and her husband, Ray, manage this group. So there's nothing posted here that they haven't seen. Now, what I will tell you is that they always post the words up here. Pardon me. Excuse me. They always post here. Uh, I'm sorry. Paul says, how do you spell searchy? It's S-E-A-R. I'm sorry. S-E-A-R-C-H-I-E. And if you want to go to my website, it's searchypro.com. I won't give the other link. Because <laughs> then I don't get an affiliate sale. But searchy has to do with video content. If you're creating video content... Um, if you're doing video content, you need searchy. That's a whole nother topic. Uh, Jeff, for, thank you for that comment. I didn't recognize that. Um, all right. And <sighs> let's not talk about searchy. All right. Let's not talk about that. In this group, only big sweepstakes. Janine and her husband put the put the prizes up here in the description. But I like to look at just this section. Because this is the social sharing message. Right? This is the social sharing message. And look at this one. <laughs> Where is the image? I'm I'm going to hit refresh just just to make sure it's not a, a loading thing. Now that they must have just posted, there must be something. Why are these top two not having images? Again, ignore the words that Ray put on here. And Facebook loves to give you a different list of things. So these words don't normally appear. Um, so what I do is I scroll down to the bottom of their words and you see this, why is there no image? And again, I, I'm hoping it's not a Facebook problem because there's images here, but this is an absolute fail of experience Chevrolet today. If this is a Chevrolet campaign and there is no freaking image, somebody ought to be Fired in the social media group. I'm going to click the link just for fun. 
So there's some images here. Enter below to win your Chevy vehicle. Now, is there any pain point here, by the way? Have we talk, I talked all day about pain points. Why is there no pain point? Everybody knows, hey, I want a car, right? Everybody knows what this is. If I were giving away an iPhone, I don't have to talk about the pain points. But if you're if you're giving away something or marketing something that people don't understand, talk about pain. Super, I'm sorry, Rocket Mortgage is Super Bowl Square is somebody wins $50,000. Okay, so Tony says, I have images on my Facebook page. So something just must be going on here. Thank you for that update, Tony. Um, this one is a good one because somebody wins $50,000, Super Bowl Squares. I get this one. This one right off the bat might stop me because it's talking about Super Bowl, $50,000, two grand prizes of $500,000. I'm, I'm in. Here's one. What does this image tell you? If you're scrolling on Facebook, does this image stop you if you see it? Eh, this looks like marketing to me. I'm gone. Twenty, twenty, fifty thousand dollars. If that's a fifty thousand dollar contest, they're failing big time. There must be something going on. Let me hit refresh again. Still not working for me. Maybe it's a Safari thing. Uh, I'm I'm not in the group in my other anyway. You guys get the idea. I'll skip those. Happy New Year. Well, this is just a message from Ray. Win an Apple MacBook Pro. Now, I just read that here, but this is not normally part of the social share, right? That's what Ray and Janine do. So here is a tiny image. Win an Ac Apple MacBook Pro 13. I clicked on this. Why did I click on this? I'm going to close the Chevrolet one. Everybody wants a MacBook Pro 13 inch, right? $1,300 value. Submitted entry for a chance to win. You get over here. The brand has an image down here, which looks like some kind of a drink. Bargs. I don't know what that is. Why are these people... Offering a MacBook. What does that have to do with their drink, whatever it is? Wrong price for the wrong audience. Win Whistler Winter Escape Contest. Whistler, they repeat the same words. Tourism Whistler, why this title does nothing for me, because they've already said that up here. Enter for a chance to win. Why are they putting all these words? Win a winter vacation for two. At least this says contest. Why doesn't it say win a trip? Skiers. Blah, blah, blah. Pebbles, 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Pebbles, cereal contest. Why doesn't this say win something? What is the prize? We're giving you the chance to win $2,000. Why is that not on this image? Why is it not listed here? Win $2,000 in cash in the Pebbles 50th birthday contest. $25 million holiday sweepstakes. Now I'm paying attention. Don't know what AirTab is. Don't care yet. I want $25 million. The first social drinking network. Isn't that interesting? But at least got me to stop. What is this image? 2021. Okay. I'm scrolling right past this. Uh, 
Uh, da, 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 da. Amazon gift card. Okay. Win a $2,500 Amazon gift card and start down the road of financial recovery. I've talked about this one before. I've seen it. Amazon gift card. Why does it not say $2,500? Why does it not say win? If you're scrolling, this image is first thing you see. Yes, people do read this. But why is why is the dollar value not here? Because it could be a $10 gift card. I am much more e eager to click a $2,500 Amazon gift card offer than a $10. You guys know I've talked about this one before. I hate this one. hate it with a passion. What is this image telling you? Anybody have any questions, by the way? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop doing this in just a few seconds because we're into some of the older campaigns, and I've talked about these before. But what is this? If you're scrolling on Facebook, why would anybody stop on this image? What the does this sell you? Enter, share, boost, win. So that's the process. What am I winning? Win an Intel Iris graphics powered notebook. Where's the notebook? Where's the laptop in this picture? What is all this? This is just atrocious. This is atrocious. All right, you guys. I've gone on and on and on and on. Next week, if you have any questions, pop them in really fast. Uh, if, next week, we are going to have a guest on the show. I do not know this gentleman. I knew David from last week. Um, I've gotten distracted. Next week, <laughs> the guest is going to be uh, our our new friend with the fourteen dollar or fourteen day of viral one dollar free trial who got 3,200, I believe it is, leads right out of the gate. Uh, Mark has already spoken to him, so he's validated the, the story is true. Uh, and so I think those of you who that are struggling, Linda, Roger, whoever I talked to before, and I apologize, uh, you guys are going to show up next week and see somebody that took action. And you're going to see what happens when you take action. Just get it done. So tune in next week. Thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate your contributions to the conversation. Uh, it's especially hard when there's just me, but hey, it's just me and you. So we will see you again next week on the Copilot Show with our special guest. Going to be a great show. I can feel it in my bones. Appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and I will see you next week.